Hi guys, so today I'm filming the sweater weather tag here on YouTube, and this tag wasn't created too long ago. Um, it's a pretty new and like recent tag that has been made up here on YouTube, and I love the fall season. That is my favorite season. So any tag that has to do with fall, I'm pretty much jumping on that bandwagon because I love fall time. So I'm just going to get started with the tag because there are quite a few questions and also if I occasionally look down it is because I have my laptop here on my lap and my candle just fell. That was for the quick first question. So I will occasionally be looking down to glance at the questions because I don't have them memorized or anything. So the first question is favorite candle scent and the one I have here to show you is my favorite fall scent at the moment. When I am filming this, Halloween will be over so I don't really know what to say about that but it is a pumpkin scent but I mean you can burn a pumpkin scenting candle any time of the year if you really wanted to. Pumpkin cupcake. And it's not a surprise that I love sweet baking kind of scents. So if you're familiar with Frosted Cupcake, it basically just smells like that. It's from Bath and Body Works as well. But it has like a little bit of a pumpkin undertone, obviously, because it's pumpkin cupcake. I will put the description of what is in this candle, like the notes across the screen right here. I just really, really like it, and I've been burning my pumpkin candles like crazy when I started getting them. I think I got them in September, and it's November now, and I've just been burning through them like crazy because these are some of my all-time favorite candles to burn is the pumpkin-scented ones because they just smell like heaven on earth, and like you're baking pumpkin cupcakes, obviously, because it's called pumpkin cupcake. The second question is coffee, tea, or hot chocolate, and this one's kind of a no-brainer for me because I am not a fan of tea. I'm not a tea drinker, so tea would be crossed off my list, and I only like cappuccinos for coffee, and I don't even drink those that often because it's not good for you to drink, especially if you're a young teen or a kid. So this is really easy, hot chocolate. I love chocolate, anything chocolate in general. Number three is what's the best fall memory you have, and I can't really think of a specific fall memory. I'll have to skip that one because more like memories kind of happen, I don't know, in the summer time, Christmas season-ish, yeah. Question number four is which makeup trend do you prefer, dark lips or winged eyeliner? And if you asked me this question like two years ago, I would easily say winged eyeliner and it's funny because I'm actually wearing the winged eyeliner and dark lips today even though I don't know how vibrant they're going to come up on camera because earlier they came up like really pink but it's actually like a deep purple color. Anyways, um, what was even oh right, winged eyeliner or dark lips? So I would have said definitely winged eyeliner a couple of years ago because I was obsessed with winged eyeliner. I'd wear it like every single day to school, like it was a little ridiculous, like I was obsessed. And I still wear it occasionally but not as much anymore, also just because it takes time, a lot of precision and you know, you gotta make it look like a wing. But dark lips have just been like, I've been obsessing over it. Like the, this season and kind of a little bit last fall is when I really got into dark lips and I've really been all about that dark lip stuff. The next question is, what do you want to be for Halloween? And when I am filming this, Halloween will be over. But what I was for Halloween this past year was a ladybug. And it was a really simple costume because I just threw on like a black a short sleeve crop top and a red skirt, kind of pencil skirt from Forever 21. The shirt was from Garage. And I had ladybug wings and a wand. And I had some red flats on. So it was like a really simple outfit to throw together. All I need to do is buy the wings and the wand came with it from like a dollar store. And it was like two bucks for that because I already had the clothing pieces in my wardrobe. So it was really fun and simple and it turned out well because the weather wasn't too cold. It was like kind of cold so I wore some like beige tights. Number six is favorite Thanksgiving food and I'm just gonna be like cliche and just say like turkey with gravy because <laughs> that's mainly what I have for Thanksgiving food. I don't know like mashed potatoes to gravy and stuff. I mean in Canada we celebrate Thanksgiving in October so this question doesn't really apply for me. Well I mean it does but yeah. I would say turkey with gravy. Question seven is hats or scarves and again this is a no-brainer for me. I'm definitely gonna say scarves because I just wear scarves a lot more than hats. I don't know, I can't wear hats. Like I can wear them to school but I can't wear them in the school so even as a fashion statement I wouldn't be able to because our Catholic school doesn't allow wearing hats. So that kind of sucks because I've been getting into beanies lately. What? Is that bad? Question number eight is most worn sweater, and I'm actually just going to show you one that's laying on my bed here. So this sweater I've definitely shown in a video before, and it's just a brand new Melville sweater, and it's more of a cardigan, like flyaway type of 
thing than an actual sweater. But it's just from Brandy Melville, and I'm pretty sure it's the Carolina cardigan or something. Basically, it's just a black knitted cardigan that has a higher back and then it goes like lower and it has like really long sleeves and it's like super super soft it feels like cashmere or something and this is totally upside down that's why it's being really complicated anyways it looks really see-through and like thin and it is really thin but it is so warm layered with like a scarf and like some riding boots and jeans or some high knee socks and I don't even know I just I have that in the salt and pepper color like the gray and white and then I really want to get in the cream because I'm obsessed with that style of sweater. I don't know if I mentioned, but that is from Brandy Melville, if I didn't already say that. Number nine is favorite fall nail polish, and this was a really tough one because I have so many favorite fall nail polishes. I love, love, love wearing dark nail polishes, especially in the fall time, and surprisingly, I'm not wearing anything on my nails right now because I've been trying to give them a break. But the one I came to a conclusion with came to a decision with is the OPI nail polish in TZ Does It and it's just like this you're not gonna be able to tell this far away but you can look up swatches on the internet it's like a purpley duochrome blackish kind of color with like duochrome of green gold specks in there I don't know it's a really really cool color and this is definitely like one of my go-to colors other than black for painting my nails in the fall time the next question is question number 10, and it is football games or jumping in leaf piles. And my high school doesn't have a football team this year, so it's a little sad because we don't really have football games to go see. We have a girls' flag football team, but it's definitely not the same. And jumping in leaf piles, I don't really do. I mean, I definitely did as a kid, but I guess I'm just going to pick that one because we don't really go to football games. So I'm just going to say jumping in leaf piles. Question number 11 is skinny jeans or leggings, and this one is a no-brainer again because I live in leggings. They are like my life. I mean, I wear a uniform to school, but anytime I'm not wearing sweats or leggings. Jeans are not really my thing. I've been trying to get more into them this season, but they're just not comfortable for me. The next question is combat boots or Uggs, and... As surprising as it sounds, I do not own one pair of Uggs, and I know every girl should have a pair of Uggs. I don't. I prefer getting, like, exactly combat boots or, like, riding boots or any other type of shoe, but not Uggs. I have nothing against Uggs. I've been, like, kind of meaning to get a pair for years. I just never got around to it and would rather spend my money on riding boots or combat boots. So, definitely combat boots. And the last question is, what's your number one favorite thing about fall? And basically just the cold weather, because... I live in Canada and when it is fall time and winter time it is cold and when I mean cold I mean cold like you can be an ice cube like it's it's cold and I love that I mean I like summer but I definitely prefer the colder weather over the warmer weather so I definitely think the weather adjust like change is a good thing and I love that about fall oh and the leaves changing so that is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any other requests that you'd like to leave down below feel free to or just tweet me at thinkinbank101 and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and all that jazz. All my links will be in the description box. Any other information, if you want to know what I'm wearing on my lips or where this shirt is from, check the description box. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.